in this video i'll be sharing with you guys dwarf nollywood actors who are unstoppable and never allowed their height to hinder them from achieving their dreams The first person on my list is Steven Anejemba, popularly known as Uwezo K. He is actually a Nigerian-born Nollywood actor, a comedian who is a veteran actor in the Nigerian movie industry. Steven Anejemba normally acts Igbo movies, promotes Igbo language and culture. He is not really a dwarf, but he is actually short. He was born on 18th July 1957 and he is from Anambra State. Wezoke face photos are often used as memes due to his funny facial expression. He is actually married and blessed with beautiful children, but he doesn't actually share much about his family on social media. He prefers a private life. He started acting in 1987 when he was still at Head Bridge, located in Onesha, Anambra State. Later, he went to Akure, located in Ondo State, and became a truck pusher. He actually served three masters and it didn't work out for him. He served his master in Onesha, Head Bridge, and it didn't work out for him. He did truck pushing and rode Okada until someone saw the talent in him and took him to Solomon Eze, popularly known as Michael Rihedema who is now dead. That's how he started his journey. He started acting a lot of movies and he became popular and was now known as Uwezuke. Chinedu Ikedieze, popularly known as Ake, is another dwarf Nollywood actor and he's also very successful. He is best known for playing comic roles in movies alongside with Usta Iyeme. His breakthrough in the Nollywood industry came from his popular movie Ake no Okwa. In 2011, Nigerian government honored him as a member of the other of Federal Republic of Nigeria. Chinedu Ikedeza was born on 12th December 1977 in Abia State, located in Nigeria. He also grew up here in Nigeria. He completed his primary and secondary school education and obtained his first school living certificate and his West African Senior School Certificate. Chinedu Ikedeza is one of the most recognized faces in Nollywood as his movies are enjoyed by everyone, regardless of the age. He is currently one of the most richest and the most influential Nollywood actor in Nigeria. Osita Iheme is also considered to be one of the Nigeria's most famous actors. He is also dwarf in nature. In most cases, he acts as a mischievous child with a funny character. Osita has won the heart of many fans from acting skills. He brought laughter to the faces of a lot of Nigerians. He was born on 20th February 1982 and was born at Mbitolu, Imo State, located in Nigeria, meaning that he's actually 40 years of age he actually had his primary and secondary education in abia state and he later enrolled at lagos state university where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in computer science osita may actually started his acting career playing minor roles as a child in nollywood movies in the year 2002 he became a household name in nigeria after playing popo alongside shinedu ikedeze in that popular movie called akinokwa yes in that movie um chinedu ikedeze bear the name ake uh, while uh, osita Yeme answered popo so till date both of them are actually known by that name like the name even made people to forget their real name <laughs> they are popularly called ake and popo the next person is Victor Udochukunwogo, who is popularly known as Nkubi. Some people call him small stouts because of his height. Some people call him Mr. Kereko. They call him a lot of names because of his size. He is actually small sized meaning that he is dwarf, Nigerian born, a Nollywood actor, comedian, radio presenter, TV personality. He works at uh, Wazobia FM. He is also a TV presenter with Wazobia Max TV. He is a content creator, a voiceover artist. He is actually very popular and have featured in a lot of comedy skits alongside with brother Shaggy and Officer Woods. He featured on Ndani TV comedy series, Officer Titles, The Robbery, among others like 
this guy is very popular. He also hails from Imo State, located in the southeastern part of Nigeria. He was born on the 28th day of August in 1980s. He didn't actually disclose the actual year. He is a graduate of University of Ibadan. He got his bachelor's degree in theater management and media and later served at Cross River State. That was where he actually did his youth service. He later got married to his longtime girlfriend who he have already dated for more than three years. He later got married to her in 2021 but actually disclosed that his ex-girlfriend dumped him him after his would-be in-laws rejected him from marrying their daughter due to his size. Olu Ebube Obisintia is another fast-rising dwarf actress who came into limelight in the Nollywood industry after featuring in one of Uche Nancy's movie known as Boss Baby. She has acted alongside many top Nollywood actors and actresses such as Macy Johnson, Nkeshimwe Eje, Oni Michael, Chineye Nebe, Sonia Uche, a lot of uh, successful Nollywood actors and actresses. Olu Ebube hails from Ikeala located in Anambra State. Olu Ebube also attended her primary and secondary school education in Ayala, Anambra State. Talking about her parents and siblings, although they doesn't disclose much about her parents, her siblings on social media, apart from her younger brother called Snowboy. So uh, her younger brother is the only person she shows off on social media. And talking about her relationship, only Ube is currently single. He, uh, she is not in any relationship with anybody. She is not engaged. She is hundred percent single. Chikamso Ejo for Ozonibo is another dwarf Nollywood actor and also Zubi Michael's uh, adopted son. He was born on sixth March nineteen ninety four and his actual birthplace and educational background are unknown. Chikam So Ejofo has an innocent and youthful appearance that leads many people to question his true age. He is also taking over the roles of the famous actors Ake and Popo and he has a high demand by movie producers and filmmakers. Honestly, the outstanding Nollywood actor has collaborated with many Nollywood actors such as Zubi Michael and this makes a lot of uh, Nollywood fans to think or wonder whether Zubi Michael is actually his biological father. But no, Zubi Michael is not actually his uh, biological father. Uh, Chikamsu is the adopted son of Zubi Michael. Chikamsu age of four is single and not yet married, but rumors have it that he's in a serious relationship, but he's keeping it away from the public eyes and social media. Next is actor Odira Ngobu. Odira Ngobu is not actually a dwarf, but he's a short Nollywood actor. He's well known in Nigeria as a comic actor, model, master of ceremony, television personality, and also a comedian. He always fits in the role of a spoiled boy who always causes trouble in movies. He was born and bred in Enugu State and also on Icha Anambra State, Nigeria. One of his movies that actually went viral is the popular movie called Joseph the Dreamer, Joseph Olonlo. Odira Ngobu is originally from Umuebele village located in Oka Anambra state. He completed both his primary and secondary school education in both Enugu State and Onisha, Anambra State, where he obtained both his first school living certificate and West African Senior School Certificate. He actually joined the Nigerian movie industry after completing his secondary school education and acted in his first comedy movie, like I said, Joseph the Dreamer, alongside with Day Day One Day. His success in the movie welcomed him into Nollywood with open arms and gained him a huge fan base, like the video actually went viral. Odira is one of the renowned comic actors in Nigeria. His roles in movies create a lot of amusement and comic relief. Like this guy is very funny. You can't watch his movie without laughing. So he actually got married in April 2021. Yeah, he's actually married. He is not single. He is a married man. So moving on to the next person, the official Mrs. Koi Koi. So her real name is Mary Inki Onyemena, popularly called Miss Koi Koi. She was actually born on the 29th day of December in an undisclosed year. She didn't actually disclose the actual year on social media. So she's a media personality, a gospel singer, a writer, a Nollywood movie actress. Growing up, Mary had a good time with her sister. 
her sibling and most importantly her sister Cynthia John Onyemena with whom she shared most of her childhood years. She kept her educational background and her parents off social media. She's not single. She's actually married. She got married to the love of her life, actually a white man, sometime in 2001. And it was actually few people that attended the wedding. Just her family members and few friends attended the wedding. Trust me, she's living a very private life. Nothing much is known about her. She has also featured in so many movies like Ghetto in My Home, Pregnant Rebecca, Dwarfing Lover, School of Tears, Crazy Princess, uh, The Tiger Queen, a lot of movies. She's actually a very successful Nollywood actress. Anyways, guys, this is where I'll be ending this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not and also click on that bell beside it. Also like and share my videos. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.